folks, welcome to the first of a triple header game here, and uh, it will be the Lakers, senior boys, going up against Samuel de Champlain. This is our first senior boys game that we have seen so far, and uh, excited to bring it to you. There's going to be two more games, each at seven, and uh, this game is at six, then seven, then eight, and there will be our, the third team here is Sir James Dunn Academy, and uh, I think the Lakers play the first and third game. They should be. Uh, I think that that's how the triple headers do work. These, I'd just like to point out that in their uh, division, these are the only two. There's only three teams. These are the only two other teams. Um, so that's interesting. All right. Starting off here, looks like Charlie Gregory is going to be serving. He used to be the secret weapon last year. This is what I've been hearing going around. But now he's not so secret. In, been playing some volleyball with him during AIT and gym. He's definitely. Um, Definitely a strong player. Great serve, and we'll see it there. Tipped over, nice. Looking for a hit here. It's over. Joe Gregory won't bring that over. Nice hit over by McIntosh. Lakers will get the first point. And Charlie Gregory up to serve once again. That one's over. It's going to be received. Number seven. Lejoie getting in there. Nice bump there. Lejoie to bring it over. And Herrero trying to get his foot in there to get the ball up, but that's not going to work out. Lejoie to serve here. Nice overhand serve. Very strong. Unfortunate bump there by Marcos. Just in that weird rough area where you kind of have to play around the net. And... Yeah, it gets difficult there because you don't want to hit the net, but you also need to get it up off of the net. So, a very difficult position to play there. Nice receive by Breed. Going to bring it over. Nolan Bon Guerrier. Hit. Nice tip there. Nice fake. Even got me up here. Herrero to set. Nice hit over by Joe Gregory. And he got it right where the defense was. Kind of making it fall right to the ground. That one's hard to recover from. And Nolan will be up to serve. Unfortunate serve there. We'll hit the net. Tricky thing with volleyball is when you're up to serve, you're practically all alone. So it's really all relying on how well you serve. Mm. It's like foul shots in basketball. Definitely, yeah. Except it's more often. Unlucky for the Lakers. That hit by Joe Gregg. He's going to hit the net and bounce out, of, bounce out of bounds. That one's over. Bon Gary is going to send that over to Tony Kremer, who's on the bench after his injury that he sustained in the Stu Cup over the last, the prior weekend. The first game, first set, actually, of the Stu Cup. That is unfortunate. Came all the way from Germany just to play volleyball, I've heard. <laughs> He's um, out on a sprained ankle. And Sam DeShan making some noise. A little bit of a serving streak we're seeing here from number 12, Wilson. And he'll keep it up. Very strong serve. May have been out of bounds there, but will land in the arms of Charlie Gregory. He looks a little upset by how it connected with him. He'll be able to serve once again. And that one's going to clear it. Joe Gregory going to bring that one up. Nice set by Nolan. And there he goes. But oh, over the net or a touch on the net there. I think that was a net touch there. That's really upsetting. That was a very good hit. Good idea there. It's up by Herrero. Lex Smith, Joe Gregory in the bump, isn't enough to bring it over. Timeout will be called Lakers side. And Sam Sham's looking pretty pretty. Leading by seven points here. Timeout is Harvey side. And I'd like to take this time to shout out our corporate sponsor, Scott Pierce at Remax East Coast Elite Realty and Little Village Vacation Resort for Dogs. Um, it's been great. Got some net cameras for um, basketball season and uh, just been awesome. And doing some stuff with the um, with our sponsors has also been great. If you're interested, everything in the description should be able to help you figure that out. Also, like to take this time to shout out our minor officials, <laughs> Ali Sirwa and Violet McDonald. Looking the Don Flesher score booth there. And we're going to see Ashton Little, a former stream team member at this point. Been playing so much volleyball, you don't even know what, uh, what team he's on anymore. And uh, has decided to 
I'm not sure it was really his decision. <laughs> Decided to step away from the booth and put on a jersey. Or I guess the computer. Nice bump over. And nice quick reaction there. Will result in Lakers timeout being worth it. And Breed's going to check in here. Timeouts can definitely be very, very useful, especially in volleyball more than anything. It's basically like calling a timeout before um, a foul shot in basketball, but even more effective because it can completely screw up the rhythm of a team. If you're in a winning streak, don't count a timeout as just a free amount of time. You definitely need to keep your head in the game. Beautiful serves here by Lex Smith, and that will go over. Nice set there by Daggle. Bongaria to receive on the other side. And it will be Joe Gregory bringing it over. A couple of passes and some plays close to the net. And Lex Smith can't make it there in time. And the point will fall to the Jaguars. Up to serve. Here's number 11, McIntosh. It's up. See by Ashton Little. Bongaria to set. He brought over by Breed. Daggle, nice hit, but that's going to go in the net. And that will be Powell, a very strong basketball player that we've seen here, and uh, he's taking time doing some volleyball. Joe Gregory on the serve now, going to bring it over, received by Powell, and a, almost a campfire ball, but it will be able to be brought up. Joe Gregory on the receive, Von Guerrier, one more hit here, and it will be Little. It will go out of bounds, though. A little bit too much mustard on that one. Yeah, with volleyball, it's very rough to um, tell. You definitely need to get your arc right. If you don't hit completely down, then it um, then it's going to go too far. But if you hit too far down, it will just land like a few feet in front of you. Like we see here, that he definitely arched too much. Like, he arched to serve too much in that. And that resulted in it hitting the net. So it's kind of tricky to tell. Marcos on the serve now for the Lakers. And one hit by Powell will be all that Sam Deshaim has to say on that play. And it will go out of bounds, giving the Lakers another shot here. Guerrero going to bring it over, right in the middle. And the serve's looking like to be a deadly one, but it will be over. Oh, nice set there, little to hit. And he's going to get a nice hit there, but it will stay alive. But I guess it will go Lakers side for a, um, the two, two touches at once. Uh, playing on the ground there is difficult. Yeah, definitely. It was a really good save from a really, really, really good spike there. Um, Difficult to get, but it was uh, impressive to s watch them get it. But sadly, uh, two touches is something you need to watch as well. Breed with a lucky break there. Finds just the right hit there to keep it in bounds, but make everyone doubt it. And that will result in Marcos back up to serve. That's over. Nice set there by Rezlock. And Lakers catching up here. One thing I've found about them as a team is they gain momentum as they go. I've, I haven't really seen them ever win a first set, but um, other than I think in the Stu Cup, but they definitely pick up momentum like further on in the set and as well in the second set. Nice quick reaction there by Little, Being able to adjust to that fake spike. We'll see if we'll see it again. Nice defense, but good job by Powell to keep that one alive. And it's over, and it's out. And the Lakers will finally lose a point after a little bit of domination here. It's over. Nice hit by Breed there, all the way to the back. Smith, and Gregory's going to bring this one over. And it's over. Beautiful touch over there. By the Breedinator. And he'll be up to serve here. It's going to be a little bit too low there. Trying to go for a uh, deadly serve, but it ended up being detrimental to the Lakers. Not enough power with that one to really uh, get over the net, but a good attempt there. Power to serve. Joe Gregory gonna send that one up into the <laughs> forbidden monkey bars. And that will be a dead ball. Powell up to serve once again. It's over. Joe Gregory on the volley on that. 
brought over by Smith. Gonna be sent over there by LeJoy. Bon Guerriere. Nice quick response there by LeJoy. That will keep up this winning streak here. And Ashton is off for Charlie Gregory. Serve will make it over. Joe Gregory's volley's a little off, but Kirk Kometa's ready to adjust to it, and Lex Smith is going to send it almost all the way up in the skybox here. Long hit, that's for sure. And that will go out of bounds. Al once again up to serve. Kometa on the receive. Joe Gregory, one more hit here, and a backwards volley by Bon Guerrier will bring it over. Lejoie setting it up. Nice hit there, nice recovery by Curtin. He will get the point there. Kometa just making it happen. They weren't expecting that quick response. Bring it over. Maybe not been on purpose, but it ended up working out for sure. And we'll see a full rotation on serving now. Charlie Gregory back up. Kurt's a very, very good Libro. I can see why they um, have him on as one. He's always diving for the ball, and he's always back there, just ready. So Impressive to watch him play. Up and it's over. And there's Kurt there on the receive. Joe Gregory's hit will be a little short. As we'll see Lejoie up for another. Lejoie has been a very strong player on the front here, and his serve seems to match that. And on the shoulder of Kurt, <laughs> Gameta, gonna be unfortunate. That was. I thought I saw a timeout call there, but I was just going to stop and just play. That one's over a little bit more close. Gregory. Herrero brought over by Bon Guerrier. Nice receive by Powell. Can be hit up there. Dangle. And we'll go Lakers side. They will get some more points here. Seems to be very much a couple points for Sam Sham, a couple points for Lakers. A couple points for Sam Sham, a couple points for Lakers. Back and forth game, that's for sure. Up and Joe Gregory brings down the thunder. And it will result in a scramble over there. And the ship will sink for the Jaguars. Another serve, it's clean, it's over. From the back rank, and bring it up to Joie. And a campfire ball. They got the marshmallows out, they took a seat, and they started burning. Serve once again, that's going to clear it. Powell on the receive. Dangle. And Lakers. Going to get a third point straight in a row. No one's going to send that one over. Powell to receive once again. Same setup here. Nice tip over all the way to the back. And scramble for it. Wilson with that beautiful hit. We're going to get another substitution here. So you're going to swap from Charlie and Ashton again. He'll find his way in the back rank. Kurt on the response there. There's Smith. Herrero. I'm going to pull what Joe Gregory did a couple rounds ago. And it will result in Shane Shane getting the point there. Will sit up to serve here. Received by Bon Guerriere. Smith. Joe Gregory going to bump it to over. But the net, once again, being a enemy of the Lakers. Another timeout called. I don't know how many timeouts you get in volleyball. I can't remember. Uh, they usually just call a, a whole lot. <laughs> I wonder if it goes to the basketball rules that oh, it's a close game, we're in the last few minutes, you can have 25 timeouts. You can use them whenever you want. I mean, could be. I'll have to look that up. They, they do just tend to take a million timeouts at the end of the basketball. It's like they're they're carrying over their timeouts from the start. I um, I was going through some of those past games, and I noticed that the last five minutes of a game is three times as long as pretty much the entire rest of the game. Definitely, yeah. Especially in those close games that we saw. There's so many fouls, so many times timeouts, just a lot of stuff like that, especially with the senior teams where they do have a lot of players fouled out. Yeah, and the injury by Tony Kremer has definitely been interesting. I have not seen the senior boys play uh, yet, but uh, I don't think I think Tony was a very strong player. Definitely, yeah. And his height and his vertical, which yeah. I've seen. Yeah, 
It was impressive watching him play. He was actually really good. I know that he has some experience from Germany, which mm -hmm. is... He played in clubs, I think he said. It's good to see. And I don't know, but I wonder if Herrera is also coming in, no, coming in with no experience like he did with basketball. And uh, that was impressive, impressive to see. As well as soccer, and he was also really skilled at that, I'm pretty sure too. he played soccer. <laughs> I, I mean, I would, I would hope that he had, because he was really good. He but was pretty good, but in but basketball, first year ever playing. And he was also really good. That's why I wouldn't be surprised if it's first, first time playing everything. And he's already up there. But I don't know how popular it is in Spain. And I know that Sam Bisham did get that point. And it's getting close here. 17-23, two points away. I had a saying last year, but I don't even want to try to pronounce that word anymore. <laughs> penultimate point? Penultimate, penultimate point. point. And uh, it will not be the penultimate point. Or it still will be, I guess. Carry over as the Lakers will get possession. Joe Gregory going to send the one right over and out of bounds. And now we're in set point. Play will commence here. Nice hit over. And the net will find the end of the ball. Dangle with that serve, but now it will be Herrero. Marcos will send it right over. It's going to be bumped up. Hands of Adona. And a beautiful block and a beautiful hit that was able to counteract that block. And that will. B set one going towards the Jaguars. It is a league game, which means only three sets, and I'm pretty sure the last set only goes to 15 even. Yep. Which is, uh, they switch halves halfway through that too. Short games. And uh, my personal favorite. I like the quick paced. Get it done with, get a lot of games going. Get yeah. I remember distinctly even playing volleyball and hating the five set rule. That was, and then commentating and also hating the five set <laughs> rule. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a little rough when you're, you know that there are five sets and they've lost every set and they just keep on playing, but you know yeah. what? If I was playing volleyball, I'd probably want to keep playing too. It's very yeah. enjoyable sport. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the pacing's really nice in it. See the Lakers here. Nice to watch too. They got a glimpse. It's not like there's no shot of winning this. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if they won the second set. That's what I've seen them do before playing this exact team. We only saw seven players, if I recount, on the court there. Ah, uh, yes, and Kurt on the rotation from the Libero, so that would make it eight. Um, we'll see what we do here. We didn't see, I don't think, any player rotation for the Jaguars. Sadadona on the Libero. Libero? Libero? Libero. Ah, Libero. That took a second. So you got me messed up there. I <laughs> been great at, on those receives, too. Definitely a good receiving team. Most of the time, if the serve makes it over, it is getting received. It's just a struggle to bring it back over mm. after the first hit. That's been kind of the struggle here. They are a very strong team with their hits as well, as we've mm. seen on their serves and when they get up to the net. That's very dangerous for the other teams that they play against. And Lakers definitely have height um, with Michael Breed, Tony Kremer, who's unfortunately benched, Joe Gregory, all playing those front lines. Mm -hmm. You only get some nice blocks there that we saw, but most of the blocks ended up resulting in still points for Jaguar. It's just on how powerful those, um, those hits are. I've also yeah. seen them trying to play closer to the ends of the net. We saw this last year, and I think it's probably a common volleyball thing, is that if you hit it and they block it, but you're able to bounce the ball off them and make it go out of bounds, it's technically off of the defender. I've, so, so, I've seen them do that a few times so far, um, actually, and it's really impressive. They're, you don't see a lot of teams do that, but they're, there's a decent amount of them, and they're one of them. I'd like to take this time to thank uh, our minor officials, Ali Sirwa on scoreboard and Violet McDonald on the score sheet. And, uh, trying to figure out here what's happening with the double lib. 
I really like the Lib jerseys for Sam Desham. They have like these more blue than orange jerseys. We're seeing number one and zero. Levine and Adona wearing them. It looks like Adona will stay on as Lib. Or, uh, yep, and you will check in. That's cool, man. Starting off with the Sam to Sham. Deadly serve. Deadly for them, more like it. <laughs> Directly out of bounds. Unfortunate. Now it's the Joie and, uh, uh, unfortunate serve there. I can hear Nolan's cries from all the way up here. Quick check off there and uh, check in. Yes. Kome stepping on. Tip over. Smith with a block attempt there, but once again, still going to make it over and still land on the side of the Lakers. Made over and brought over by Wilson. Nice backward set by Herrero. Bringing it over. Nice quick play, but it may be a little bit too quick as it will be out of bounds on Daigle's behalf. Giving the Lakers another chance here to get some serves going. It will be Smith up to serve. We saw some very strong serves from him in the first set here. And he'll keep that up. And uh, the official kind of hitting a little bit of a dance move trying to figure out which side he's going to give the point to. But it will go Lakers side. This is a rough call. I couldn't even tell from up here. And usually we get a little bit of advantage from having a bird's eye view. Fortunate for Smith there. It looks like he was going to have a nice streak there. But the net will stop that. Only one successful serve. McIntosh with the serve, it's over. There's Smith to receive. Von Guerrier on the set, and Breed, beautiful hit there. Will absolutely shut down the Jaguars as they will run around trying to get that. But no good. And we'll see what Herrero has to do now. Serve is up, serve is good, received by the Libero. Nice play there. Beautiful, quick thinking there by Daggle. Quick. Set over and those baits is what really makes up those minor, po those small differences in points that we don't really talk about a lot, but they really add up. It's over. Got up by Gregory and a campfire ball for the Lakers. Balls up and over. Bree gonna send that one quickly back up. Seeing a nice hit over there by Kame. And a nice set by Gregory bringing it over. And it's up and Powell's gonna bring power to that. And we'll go Lakers side. Not sure what that call is. I think it's a net touch. It usually is. Out of bounds or something like that. I think it may have hit off the pole, which would make it out of bounds. Hit off the pole. Libero's gonna bring. So hit off the pole would have been is what we're thinking the call was there. And it's up in the air and Powell once again, this time will make it over. Unlucky break for the Lakers. It's been deadly from hitting over there and it's worked out. This time it's over. Smith on the receive. Herrero to set. One more hit here. Gregory to bring it over. Nice receive there. Nice quick thinking. It's up. The joie, the joie, and a hit all the way to the back on the hands of Daigle. They're going to fight for this one, but they'll leave it alive. Good job by Hungaria and Charlie Gregg will bring it over. Powell going to kind of lessen up, and like he's playing soccer. <laughs> maybe it's not that much similar. But maybe their sports are more similar than we think. I've seen him hit a few uh, of those with that little move he likes to do. Hit it off his foot. You can do that. He was hooked. <laughs> yeah. Nice tap there. It's up. Breeze in the position to receive that. And he will. Smith to bring it over. Set and up here for a hit. And it will be Powell to bring it down. But it will be out of bounds. Lakers will keep up. With serving. Michael Breed. Going to send that one over. Beautiful serve. 
Powell is going to be able to bring that one over. Breed on the receiving the back line. Charlie Gregor on the set. Smith is going to hit it with a quick bump over. It will make it over there. The Joie going to hit it over. It will be Powell. And once again, out of bounds, giving a rough time with that. Come out called Sam, but Sham. Make Tony even hop up on one foot and start jumping around. He's one of the loudest on the bench. <laughs> and uh, Sam Sham definitely getting a little nervous here. Been yeah. A very strong first couple of hits here. Lakers going to have a lead of two points and serving. And there's been a couple of uh, of rough hits and spike attempts there by yeah. Sam Sham. <clears throat> well, I was just going to say one of their biggest strengths in the f uh, first set that we saw it was their hits, but they're kind of just not being able to land all of them inside of the court like they had been before, which was their biggest strength. I really wouldn't be surprised if this was, um, if this ended up being a tie game and we see a third set by from both of these teams. I think it's in the cards for sure, and I think it's what you may see here. Some sort of French chant over there from Sam to Sham, I want to say. <laughs> I, I think able to pick that one up. I think they might have said un deux trois at the end. That's all I heard. And the Lakers looking strong here and Breed up to serve. And we'll see if it will disrupt the Lakers this time out from Sam to Sham, just like the timeout by Sam to Sham did to the Lakers. Or did to Sam to Sham, rather. And it will. Definitely. This is what we I just always see from timeouts. You have a team doing really good, and then they call a timeout, and they just fall apart because, I don't know, they're out of their rhythm, I think. And then there's that. Unfortunate there. He looks a little disappointed by that one. And we'll see Joe Gregor get the serve as he frolics around to find the ball. Serves up and over. See you by the Libero. Set Le Joie, gonna bring a quick goal over. Charlie Gregory is able to respond to that one. Backward set by Bon Gear, his classic. Bring it over. Le Joie to set here. Hit over and all the way out by the hands of Wilson. Joe Gregg up to serve. It's over. Libero Adona to hit that. Le Joie hits over by McIntosh, and the point will go their side. check off and there goes on Michael McKean it's over Charlie Craig are going to bring that one up nice hit there saw the opportunity and Kurt Kometa won't be able to bring that one over it will be Sam DeShams ball 10-9 Sam DeShams to serve it's over and a couple of hits there, and it will go out of bounds off of the set from Charlie Gregory. <laughs> Trying to set for the official to hit it up there. Le Joie. Gonna bring that one over, and Williams hit there. It's a little bit too much of a powerful serve, and it will be out of bounds. We'll see Bon Gear up to serve here for the Lakers. It's over, it will clear. It's Gabriel Powell. Nice set by William Lejoie. Nice response by Charlie Gregory. Powell going to get that one alive. Lejoie to bring it over. McKean. And we're seeing Bon Gear get in position, but the two hands will result in a nice rally and in um, some tears in the Lakers' eyes. That serves over. And Joe Gregory will try to hit it up, but McIntosh doing a great job. Those hits. Substitution here. Ashton Little looking to check in. We'll single out Joe Gregory, and he will be the one taking a seat on the bench. Ashton Little going to be taking that middle back position. We saw him rotate for Charlie in that position, too. That's going to be brought over by Sam. And Sam McIntosh. Serving streak will be done. That out of bounds. And there's Smith. Ready to hit it over. Ball's up. It's over. Received by Powell. Adona. 
Nice set over, Brees. And Sam Shame will get the point there. Sam McIntosh, little to receive. McKean, and McKean's set will send the other Michael to the ground trying to get it, and it will be Sam Shame once again. Lakers. Sam Shame leading now. It's over. It's up by Smith, and Gregory's going to have to quickly respond to that one, and uh, carry will cost them. Kirk going to check on for Smith. Gregory, nice set by Bon Gear, and it'll be Gregory with a nice tip and a nice C hit, and he will show why they call him the secret weapon. McKean to serve here. A little ritual, throwing it up against the wall. Nice serve, clean, very flat. Adona, looking for it. They will be able to make that one work. Breed, and Little with a nice <laughs> attempt there, but he'll end up hitting a breakdance move, and it won't end up working out. One thing I've noticed about Harvey's team is that though they do have really good hitters, they if it's going to go out of bounds, they're not able to hit it off of another like the other team's hands, like some of the players on Sam Desham are able to do. Uh, Michael Breed looking like he's trying to play some limbo there. He's gonna get in the two touches. Kurt Little gonna bring that one up. Charlie Gregory gonna bring that one over and can't fireball. We'll get the Lakers a point here. 14-17. And Charlie Gregg bringing it over. And Powell brings it down. Ending any hope of having a little bit of a streak there for the Lakers. And Little going to get a rotation out here for Joe Gregory once again. And a dead serve. By the hands of Kamei. And there's Breed up the serve. We saw it's a nice serve from him. Definitely a strong server. And it's all over. Powell to receive. There's Juwa to set and Powell to hit. And inbound, uh, inbounds will be called and it will go to the Jaguars. Nice serve by Powell. See by McKean, it'll be over. Quick set. Smith with a quick response, and it's exactly what Sam Shim wasn't expecting. Really light hit. If they had even noticed that he was going to hit, then they could have gotten that, but a very good, smart, quick play from uh, Lex. Joker, your serve will be dead. Serve up here by Lejoie, Kometa, and they were able to keep it in the air, but not well enough to bring it over. The score starts to set in here, 21-16, Sam Desham lead in here. Ball's up and not over, even though like there's still a light in the end of the tunnel. And it will be Bon Guerrier to send this ball over. It's up, it's over. And the Libero, Adona, wasn't able to respond to that one. And point will go, Lakers side. Another serve is over. Powell to receive, nice quick set over. McKean on the response there. There's Bon Guerriere. Charlie Gregory going to set it all the way to the back line. And it will almost work out, but they're going to be able to get the three hits up. Response by Joe Gregory. Charlie Gregory, they got a hit. McKean to bring it over here. Powell on the response there. Le Dangle! Going to be able to quickly response, bring it over. And it will result in the Lakers losing that point. Timeout called. Lakers side. And uh, I understand the timeout call for sure. It's a pretty close game. Or set here. And uh, yeah. game, I guess, at this time. Could be the end of the Lakers' first game if they can't get these. 
They can't stop these next three points coming in from the Jaguars. They still do have a shot, but with the Jaguars serving, it's a little trickier. They just need to be good on their receives and uh, make sure everything they hit is inbounds. We may see game point here sooner than later for Sam Desham. The Lakers, communication time is much needed, and I see Joe Gregor being very vocal, planning out some things there. Or maybe complaining, I really can't tell. <laughs> but definitely conveying some sort of information. And hopefully it works out here. I do see his arm wrapped up there. I don't know if that's an injury or just kind of a playing style. I assume injury, based on it being his left hand. Yeah, no, usually you don't see wraps like that. You'll usually see fingers wrapped together more than anything, but that's typically for people that just play as like a middle blocker. And the Lakers ready here. Coming out strong, Kurt Kometa. Out on the court, and Charlie Gregory going to get that hit up, and McKean to bring it over, and it will barely make it over, but those balls are what you're looking for there, and it will result in the Lakers' timeout being worth it. We'll see if the serve goes in the net. It's kind of been a trend we've seen with the timeout calls. Smith is a strong server, though, so. And it's over. It's cleared, and it's in the benches. The Lakers looking strong out of this timeout as they're going to quickly creep back up to almost a tied game here. And, uh, Smith up the serve once again. That one will clear all the way. 2023. These are points. Penultimate point of the game. It's up, it's over. It's received by McKean. Very high, and there's Gregory on the set. Way too close there, though. And 2024, game point. It's over. Smith from the back to send that one right in. Breed with a quick response, and it's going to go to Lakers. And their story isn't done here. This team still has a few more stories to tell. And McKean up to serve. It's over, and it's cleared. He's a strong server. That's good to see for the Lakers. Powell there. Quick response, and the run for it will result in your Jaguars getting the win. Better set there played by the Lakers point-wise, and I definitely think playing-wise too from what I saw. And yeah. I think if there was a, another set being played, I think Lakers would have an even higher chance. Definitely, yeah. They just keep cr uh, creeping up higher and higher, so we may see them play even stronger in their next game against uh, Sir James Dunn. Sir James Dunn, yeah. And uh, next game you'll be seeing is the winning Sam Desham play against Sir, Sir James Dunn Academy. And that will be the same format as this game. I'm not sure if they will, I guess it probably will be at 7. Kramer on the cut crutches, and the Lakers get ready to shake hands, I assume. And we would like to take this time to thank our corporate sponsors, Scott Pierce at Remax East Coast Elite Realty and the Little Village Vacation Resort for Dogs. Our sponsors really help us with just practically anything at all especially with streaming and we're very very grateful and if you'd like to become a sponsor uh, please check the video description for our contact information thank you all right don't go far folks your second game of the three night or the three game night is ahead of you sir james and academy will be playing the samuel uh, samuel de champlain jaguars at seven o'clock and we will talk to you guys then